us one moment. I'm just testing the audio. And we're live. How's everybody doing again? <clears throat> so, we're back from vacation. We're back from figuring a couple stuff out. We, uh, we're deciding to bring you today um, a little bit different content. Again, we're just experimenting with different stuff. So today is going to be a solo video for me. Later on, you're going to get a solo video from Trayson. And we're going to see how that goes. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, so today, Loch Ness Monster. What is it? So the first modern discussion of the sighting of the strange creature in uh, the Loch may have been in the 1870s when when it was claimed that there was sighting of a wriggling churning um, in the water after photo evidence came out this account was uh, not published until the 1934 um, newspaper had had come out with the research section now, <clears throat> with that being said, there are several newspapers that did publish items about the creature and about the lock um, long before it had actually became uh, a giant phenomenon, if you will. The best known article that attracted a great deal of attention about, about a creature uh, was published on May 2nd, 1933. In the um, in the actual article, it talks about a large beast or whale-like fish. The article by Alex uh, Campbell, water, water monster for Loch Ness. Um, it was just it was just a part-time type of journalist um, out there. It discussed the sighting about how um, the enormous creature with the body of a whale rolling in the water in the lock while she um while the actual journalist she and her husband John were driving on the A82 um on April 15th 1933 the word monster was repeatedly um applied and also reportedly applied um, for the first time in Campbell's article although some reports claim that it was uh, coined by editor Evan Barron now that we have a little bit of insight onto <clears throat> you know what exactly um, started the origins of it let's go back a little bit right let's go back to what is Nessie now Nessie is a paleosaurus dinosaur um, the Loch Ness Monster or Nessie is Scottish first of all um, and it is a cryptid uh, as a crypt it's a cryptid creature for lack of a better term um, this is said to inhabit uh, Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands uh, it is often described as a large, long-necked creature with one or more humps protruding from the water. Popular interest and belief in the creature have varied since it was brought to worldwide attention in the 1933. Evidence of its existence um, comes and goes with a number of disputed photographs and sonar readings. The scientific community regards the Loch Ness Monster as a phenomenon without biological basis, explaining sightings as hoaxes, wishful thinking, and uh, misidentification of mundane objects. Now, <clears throat> there's, there's a couple different things here that I want to kind of look at. First of all, there's tons and tons of lake monsters reported around the globe. Now, when we say lake monsters, I like to think that it is dinosaurs that are still around in these lakes that live in caverns, underground caverns, or um, inside of the ground at the very bottom of it. Maybe they burrowed into the ground, and that's why they can't be seen. I'm going to read off just a couple of these, and we're going to go into um, a whole other hour segment on uh, later but this is just to get this out there for you guys now so <clears throat> I'm sure I'm gonna butcher some of these names which that's whatever um, Memo Luce Lake in Oregon um, Falk Lake Lake Erie uh, Black River 
Lake Dillon, um, Lake Minnedota, um, Akali Lake, Atatama Lake, and yeah, that's that's uh, all I have here. Now, I just I, I'm gonna. I read off a couple of those. You can look up those for yourself. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of read uh, a little bit. So, the first one, 40-foot um, long alligator-like creature with rough grayish-brown skin. Um, the next one is is a giant snapping turtle um, that's 20-foot. The Lake Erie is going to be a snake-like creature that's 30 or 40-foot long, at least... Um, at least 10 feet in diameter with grayish color. Um, the Black River, a dark colored serpent body with flippers, long bulging eyes. And then we have the Lake Minnedota, which is a serpentine creature sometimes taken for a log until it moves. Um, so... There are a couple different sightings, a couple different things that go into it, a couple different creatures. There's the one thing that we all can take away from it is that there are sightings and are legitimate people with with stories coming out. So Lake Loch Ness doesn't seem out there when you take in consideration that if Loch Ness is seen and all these others are seen, maybe there's a species that specifically lives in lakes that lives a lot longer. Maybe it is a paleosaur, maybe it's not. Um, <clears throat> we don't know. There's been countless sightings of Loch Ness um, in Flathead Lake, Montana. In 19... No, 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 sorry. In 1889, Captain James C. Kerr uh, and his 100 passengers aboard a steamboat reported seeing a 30 or 40 foot long uh, creature in Flathead. As of July 2018, there have been 109 sightings of the foreign creature, uh, according to NBC Montana. Um, and then an actual, an actual statement I pulled was, "quote I remember seeing, I remember saying, look, look, that's it, we're seeing it." One witness told NBC, "I knew immediately because of the descriptions are all the same." It was like 25 feet from what I could see and the humps. And then the last little bit here, last little bit here I want to kind of get into, first of all, is not long after, this is a, a actual story I picked up. It's not long after I moved to Kalawana, a city in southern British Columbia known for its wineries, water sports, and hiking trails, I saw news of a water monster sighting. Two brothers have <clears throat> have seen something um, in the water in the middle of the lake. About 84, 84 mile long um, take that the curves down this valley. Now the serpent, the shape of the serpent, um, the wave crested fan like uh, wake. But it wasn't, it wasn't a boat sighting. They are adamant it was, I'm not going to pronounce that name, O-G-O-P-O-G-O. -O -O -O. So there you go. <clears throat> now, we're going to get into this a little bit more, into this story. I wanted to bring you guys something here and kind of give you a little, a little teaser of, of what's to come. But here we go. Loch Ness Monster. What is it? A little bit of sightings, a little bit of proof. You guys have a fantastic morning.